if anyone has hay fever as bad as me, look at this. Comment below because I am dying this year. It's 100% worse this year. So, morning workout. We have a dumbbell triplet. So you can do 12 dumbbell power cleans on the floor. Six ring muscle ups, repeat that for three rounds. Straight into 12 dumbbell shoulder overhead. Six ring muscle ups, three rounds. Straight into 12 dumbbell front squats. Six ring muscle ups, three rounds. Total time we just score. Change the ring muscle ups if six is too many. RX is 22 and a half for guys, 15 for females. Let's do it. So all the complicated movements we do, ring muscle ups, bar muscle ups, toast bar, all that sort of stuff, don't really ever get sore. I did 100 press ups yesterday in my chest. Oh my god, my chest is so sore from 100 press ups. Mental, never underestimate the power of the press up. So sore, man. Okay, we're gonna keep doing this till we get tired. Just hold it low. Okay. Are you holding it too low? Zach's taking pictures right after the session is. Normally got his phone. He's like, yeah, you're doing great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ridiculous. Hear that? Make a lot more tanned. How am I supposed to do that, Matt? Are you uh, available to hire? Yeah, I uh, charge uh, 75 pound every minute, so one of the top photographers in the game. You can charge those prices. Do you want to see these photos that will tell you otherwise? No, they're all right. So that was spicy than expected. First round, we all went and broken on the Dumma Power Cleans, did six muscle ups, and then all of us straight away split up the second and third round of the Dumba Power Cleans because four of them were starting to go. There's a lot of muscle, I don't really count, I think it's 56 muscle ups I think, so quite a lot of volume, but the way it's laid out you don't really know it's that many reps, so that makes sense. Shoulders overhead and broken, front squats and broken, then just try to keep the transitions as minimal as possible. But yeah, really good workout if you want to try and improve your muscle ups. If you haven't done that much volume in muscle ups, I'll probably drop the reps. Um, there's a couple of people doing two reps every round, three reps every round. So choose a rep scheme that you can probably go and broken, and then uh, see how your forearms fare out. But now, we have, Spaghetti Bolognese. It's my favourite one at the minute. Hello, Lali, are you going to say hello? Lali, are you going to say hello? Say hello to camera. She's not camera shy. You're gorgeous, hmm? Little fluff ball. So, got back through time. We've got a good prep. This is my second favourite fish cake, mash, and some broccoli. A little bit of sweet chili sauce on top and then we're gonna make I don't know what flavor I'm gonna choose yet I've tried the peach I've not tried the blood orange or pineapple this is my protein's new um, sort of flavor so the clear red protein really nice doesn't taste like typical protein tastes like fruit juice I think I'll try the pineapple chuck some ice in there and maybe some flo uh, frozen fruit as well see what it tastes like then chill outside and eat that delicately that's all you need not Slosh it on her. We, we. Beautiful. 
bosh. Pint of water, then I'll probably make that shape with another pint of water as well. And then enjoy the sun. Hey cutie boy. So it's now quarter to five. We have, I've done all the programming to do. We made an amazing high protein shake with their new Clearway uh, pineapple flavor. Push some ice blueberries and then that one scoop of protein inside it would taste amazing. Been doing this for maybe kind of half an hour off and on. Focusing around my hip, obviously I'm in the rehab stage at the minute so I'm just trying to get my hip and my quads as loose as possible. Um, IT band, inner thigh and then been working on my calves as well just to loosen them off. And now we're going to go back to the gym and do uh, some lifting, some gymnastics but one of the gymnastic workouts is a staple workout I've done to help cut my handstand press up 50 for time in half. Um, it's something that I've progressed over the last like, year or so, so hopefully you can take it away and anyone struggling with handstand press ups can use that as a tool to get better at them. So afternoon session, we have six by two squat snatch. So I'm still in my rehab stage, so with any sort of lifting, I very much go off how I feel, so some days my hip feels great, well not great, but it doesn't hurt so much and I can lift some decent weight. Some days I get stuck at 60, so i um, been really hammering my rehab, using all my um, high price products, the Hypervolt, Normal Tech. Uh, hip's getting better, um, but I still don't want to push it, so basically every session we go in with a rep scheme and the uh, amount of sets, but then the weight completely is um, relying on how much my hips hurt in that day. So feels pretty good at the minute, so we'll see. I always like to get to around 80 kilos, 90 kilos pain free, and if that's a go ahead, then I'll try and push the weight a little bit, but we'll see how we fare on that. And then um, we're gonna do some gymnastics, a little chest bar even on five minutes. And then we're gonna do a handstand press up workout, which is what I've used over the last kind of two years in different formats. Um, the one we're doing is all shoulder endurance. It'll be eight strict handstand press ups, plus 25 for handstand walk every minute for 10 minutes. When I started that workout back in 2019, I think I could do four strict plus handstand walk, so able to do double the reps, which is really good. And everyone always asks me how I've improved my strict handstand press up so much over the last two years. Um, obviously in 2019, it's the movement that cost me getting my ticket to the games that year. Um, and I do different EMOMs, I do it every minute for 10 minutes, um, every 30 seconds for five minutes, every two minutes for 14 minutes. Uh, 50 for time, or we might do 50 handstand press ups, 200 for handstand walk, 50 handstand press ups. So, we do so many different shoulder endurance types of workouts. And I literally do handstand press ups four times a week, and I've done it ever since 2019. So, it's a movement where you can do quite a lot of reps within the week and it doesn't fatigue you too much or it doesn't give you any sort of repetitive um, strain injury. And in 2019, my time for 50 was about five and a half minutes, and now um, I think the last time I'd have to check was probably about a minute 27, so it's so much quicker than what I did uh, back in 2019. So when we start that workout, if you are weak at anti so we're gonna progress them, give that workout a go and progress it through the weeks, through the months, I'm sure it's gonna help with your anti Good warm up, Dan. This is my Dimensity, and this is his warm up. We take training seriously around here. On his phone, you know? No, I'm, just looking, I'm looking at different variations of the So I've been told I need to do more barefoot mobility stuff, and I pretty much can't squat barefoot. So it's my ankle is always to do with my, uh, that's what's caused my hip injury basically. So I need to try and strengthen my feet and try and get mobility with barefoot instead of wearing my insoles that I rely on. So this is me overhead squatting, barefooted, with no insoles or shoes. Now with shoes on plus my insoles. No pain in the hip, which is good, so First set will start at 80, I think. Then we'll go 90, see how that feels. Maybe go to 100, but yeah, it feels no pain so far, which is good. King of 
jokes. Tell a joke, Jamie. Oh, I think I'll come back to it. No, no, on the spot, come on. All right, I'll tell you my, my, favorite, my favorite recent one then. Yeah. So, I've told you this before. Yeah, okay. oh. So I had a dream last night that I was swimming in a load of soda. Turns out it was just a fantasy. So bad. <laughs> At Jamie Lowry, needlove.com. This guy. And I end up busting. Ain't made it all of you bucket heads and you went to thug. So that was a really good session. Um, the first lifting session I've had pain free on my hip since injury, so since kind of two months. So really happy about that. Zero pain, all the rehab stretching, the physio is really helping. So really, really pleased with that. The Chester bar was just uh, 20 and broken every 90 seconds for five rounds. That's fairly easy. Um, a really challenging rep scheme for me to be 20 every minute for five rounds. So that's pretty chill. And then we finished with the handstand press up um, workout. So I did eight strict handstand press ups plus 25 handstand walk every minute for 10 minutes. And like I said earlier, it's helped my 50 um, strict handstand press up time come down massively. So in 2019, it was 5:31, and then I did it about a couple of weeks ago, and it was one minute 36. So there's a massive improvement. So um, if anyone wants to improve their handstand press ups, I would highly recommend uh, EMOMs as they're a really good way that you can show progression. So when I started. Back 2019 I could do six every minute for 10 minutes and that was like at my limit and uh, obviously in there today we did eight strict hands press plus 25 for handstand walk so it's a lot of tricep and shoulder fatigue um, so my every minute now for 10 minutes is 12 compared to six so just pick a rep scheme that you can do every minute and broken so it might be two strict every minute for 10 minutes it might be eight strict every minute for 10 minutes if you're quite good at them and then just progress on those rep schemes um, each week so you're not going to progress every week so maybe do a training block of like six weeks of a certain rep scheme and then try and increase them after that um, i also mixed up between different time domains so don't just stick to every minute all the time because you'll just get very good at doing that time frame so you want to be doing every 30 seconds so i'll tend to do eight every 30 seconds for uh, five rounds or i'll do 20 every two minutes for five rounds so constantly changing the, the time frame to make sure you're good at different workouts you're not just very good at one um, sort of time element so yeah pick a rep scheme make sure you can do it unbroken hit that rep scheme don't fail any reps and then just progress on that each week and i'm sure it will definitely help your strict hands and press ups a good tip if you can't do strict hands and press ups is use the ab mats so never be too scared to kind of scale the reps so i remember when i very first started crossing seven years ago i couldn't do a strict hands and press ups i had to use two thick ab mats so you're only coming down like halfway and it makes it a lot easier to form the reps and again after like six weeks then remove one ab mat and then you're on one ab mat and after another six weeks you hope you're doing them um, rx on, on the floor so yeah lots of different um, things to take away lots of different workouts you can do to improve your handstand press ups like i said mine have improved massively over the last three years i think my max in 2019 was about 14 
and I recently hit a PB of 38 uh, about two months ago so I'm hoping it'd be a little bit higher now but you can definitely get a lot better at movement so just because you are weak at movement don't think you can't get better at it you've just got to dedicate a lot of time to it be consistent with it and make sure you're tracking your progress um, for the hand press I did them four times a week for three years so um, yeah dedicate yourself maybe two sessions a week hit different time domains and uh, yeah, crush those handstand press ups. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you take away a lot of tips on how to improve your handstand press up if that's the goal of yours. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because it really does help grow the channel and make sure you tune in for next week's video. And now I'm